the, the first question that I think that I, I definitely need to ask you is, what is an effective workforce? Uh, how would you define it? What are the qualities that encompass you know, effective workers or an effective workforce? Sure, sure, definitely. Look, I, I would sort of translate it into a competent workforce that not only have um, relevant technical skills, but also have what we often refer to as soft skills. So soft skills are often um, uh, transferable skills such as problem solving skills or, or communication, ability to work with others uh, effectively. So I would suggest that in terms of a, a, an effective workforce, you can't just have one or the other. You really need to ensure that graduates have both um, in order to be work ready when they, um, when they join, the, join the workforce. That's really interesting, right? We often talk about hard skills and soft skills like quite often. Um, it's easily said than done, more easily said than done. Uh, what are some of the things that you think, you know, uh, this generation of people that are just starting to enter the workforce, like what are they strong at? And maybe what are some of the development areas in both the soft and hard skills? Yeah, look, I think in terms of, um, and my experience, I guess, with Vietnam is that, um, Students have often uh, graduated with perhaps theory-based um, uh, knowledge only and not necessarily the, the practical or hands-on skills that might be needed for the workforce. So um, in order to, to really be ready for the labour market, you need to have technical skills that are current and relevant for the industry. So just to give you some idea, I guess in Australia, our vocational sector works very closely with industry um, and generally has a communication line through an association like an industry skills association. So I think um, when it comes to those technical skills, delivery um, in Australia is often competency-based training. So what we tend to do is deliver our training hands-on. So we might actually establish facilities that simulate workplaces. So for hospitality, we might have a mock restaurant or a kitchen um, so that students really get that practice because it's all about the practice and confidence, build their confidence by undertaking those technical skills in, a, in a, an environment that's simulated, so not out in the real world just yet. And then I think, um, as I mentioned, those soft skills are really about um, uh, building their, their ability to deal with, um, uh, with the workforce because there's so many things outside of technical skills that you need when you're in, when you're in a workplace or in, a, in that environment. And ex an example of that is say communication skills. So their ability to learn how to ask questions, uh, to critically listen to answers, and then to analyze information and ultimately determine resolutions. So ultimately all of those packaged together, um, you know, hopefully builds a student's confidence so that when they, they work in the, you know, go out to employment and, and get their first job, that they've got all the necessary skills to, to be work ready, as we say, on day one. That sounds great. Um, and I guess, you know, to all of the shy Vietnamese uh, students or, or even, you know, people who are older than students a little bit, um, you know, I, I think this is definitely an opportunity for them to, to come out of their shell and, and practice some of these really vital skills. Um, thank you for sharing.